good. So this makes things slide better, right? Hello and welcome in this episode where we have a breaking news of course since breaking news we are replacing the rusty stuff with the new and shiny ones. Should we? Right, let's crack on. We'll start this rear right caliper with the brakes. It is kind of too bad but then the caliper is actually seized. Uh, so we have a bit of a problem. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. Let's see what happens here. No, because I'm standing here. That's not going to great. We need to get out the pins and then the caliper out and then the brake disc out as well and see what happens in the is a handbrake shoes also because yeah, apparently Multi girl wasn't happy with the how efficient are the brakes. Uh, okay, good. And uh, the inner one actually is a bit better. Looks really good, so just the rust inside, but anyhow, in this disc we will replace. Well, it's not too bad, but it has a square. that it touches and it should be right. Okay, now I think so. and I 
Scissors, the worm was a bit more sticky, so to speak. No, we don't need necessarily to throw it away. We can keep it and then we can have to rebuild it as well for the next, next time, hopefully. But right now we can put the brake pads in. New brake pads that we can put on. And just pick up. was replacing the other side from the rear and uh, yeah didn't want to film it but uh, you could see actually that the pads has been sticking because these ones it's much much thicker and on both sides so this caliper hasn't been sticking uh, yeah, but anyhow we need another brake pad so we can replace them but yeah the other one was as warm as this one would. Now we're gonna put our attention to the front disc. This tailing spring. Caliper, but remember that oh. yeah, you can do the both ways in my case as well. You still would need to remove the caliper from the bracket because you remove the disc as well. Or we are replacing the discs, so the discs cannot be taken out without the clean but if you have a rust on this surface as well it's good to clean it off so it doesn't sit flush
do a little bit clean the bracket and uh, bracket itself where the brake pads are sliding and now I clean up the surfaces it wasn't much of a rust but just so those pads slide nicer smoother and we will put a little bit of a grease there makes things slide better, right? Okay. There are two pads, the one is in the one, is where it yeah, pushes in into the wheel cylinder and then this one is out the, out the one with the noise. Too bad, but then uh, uh, it's fast. This one looks thinner. Like so brake pads were thinner so the caliper was closer to the brake disc so now when we put the new ones in we need to be press it in more. For that job I mean you can have also the special tools or you can use just like so just be careful not to damage the seal. Now this bit, so there's a struggle.
cap. These are out. Before removing this one, the bracket, maybe it's a good idea to leave it because if that screw is stuck, what you can do you can put here the screwdriver and easy it so, so it doesn't spin on these Volvos there are several types of the front brakes uh, in general in the Volvos I mean it could be so called 15 inches 16 inches or 17 inches brakes and 15 and a half and oh it's a bit of a yeah, struggle to say find it or remember it, but of course the best the best way is just to measure measure your old brakes. And these are, for example, these are 302 millimeter rotors. There are one more, 322, if I remember right. And there are smaller as well. So yeah, just so you order the right one, measure before. So, this one
Yep. Now all the liquids are topped up. We have oil, we have a pump stealing tool and everything. So now we just uh, enjoy the cup. The brakes are done. Engine is done. You want to see the engine episode? I mean, let me see if it's taken up for that yeah. in my channel there. And how we tackle that one. Otherwise, I think that everything with this car is, is finished. So we can carry on with other projects. So see you then. Bye.